Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do a masculine get well soon card and also how to make your own background with the stamps from a stamp set uh, using the coordinated ink on the coordinating cardstock. So for the coloring, as usual, I will put it in a separate video. However, sped this up really, really fast so you can see how I color the little bunny. But if you want to see in detail how I did this, there will be a link in the description down below and at the end of the video. So then I, I kind of... I wanted to have it in portrait mode and then realized that the sentiments I wanted to use, uh, which uh, are those two ones, uh, they were long, so I needed to make the card... Um, as a landscape mode. I picked out this little uh, kind of rectangle die. They don't sell it at My Favorite Things anymore. Uh, however, they do have some other ones with uh, different kind of borders. So you can use any kind of uh, those kind of rectangle. I really like this though. So I'm really sad that they, they stopped producing it. It's, it's one of my favorite ones. And the kind of very strong angles make it really good for uh, masculine cards. I picked up this um, stamp. So all the stamps are from the Feel Better stamp set that came in the February release. Uh, and I'm using this little like doctor's stand or something uh, to kind of build up just a very simple uh, geometrical design on the backside. So just kind of uh, turning it around and... Um, stamping it to get some of those details knowing that I'm gonna put the bunny where the kind of opening of the stand is on the middle of it so I don't mind it being a big open space um, in the middle of the stand there because I'm gonna put the bunny there anyway um, so it's gonna be hidden and I use my stamp semi to also dry up my little um, kind of stamping in inking area that I have there. Then we're going to do the little sentiment. I'm going to use the Caribbean Sea ink uh, to stamp two of the strips from the stamp set. Uh, this is going to be my sentiment. Uh, I did want to go with a darker color. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you here. I wanted to go up uh, one tone. They do have another uh, color um, in this kind of series of colors that is a little bit darker however I didn't have the ink um I need to I need to get all the inks uh, as they are reformulating everything uh they have pulled all their old ones and you can only get the new ones or the reformulated at this moment also use that little um flag end and gosh I used it as it was I didn't do any changes on that uh, die this time and then I'm gluing this bunny left on and you're going to see later on that I'm actually carefully prying the bunny off and repositioning it a little bit lower because I'm going to add some strips of pattern paper underneath this little sentiment just because I wanted to get a little bit more of a pop of a color and a little bit more kind of texture in it. So I picked out three pattern paper from the Road Trippin 6x6 pattern paper pack. Try to say that six times fast. Um, but yeah, so I chose these little arrows, uh, the little dots and the little stripes. I really like to kind of mix and match not only kind of the geometrical shapes but also different colors to kind of build up and this is the reason why I wanted to have the darker blue for the text is that it would have matched the blue paper with the white dots um, so that was a little bit sad but um, it kind of matches the arrows on the other paper so probably good. Um, I continue using a, a glue pen. This is the lawn fawn but it works just as well with my, my favorite thin ones. Um, and then I glue that down. Uh, I go through here and kind of try to fiddle how do I want it uh, and I realize that I don't want to uh, put any colors on top. I just want to put them underneath and that I needed a little bit of a thicker piece. I cut out two of them. I only really need one. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to put that underneath to kind of build up 
those stripes together. Um, and by that, I also get to kind of frame that line one. I didn't feel that it it was good to have it at the bottom. Um, the darker cardstock kind of framed it a little bit better. However, I didn't like to have the white dots and the little slashes next to each other. I wanted to build something up a little bit more. So I went in and decided to cut down the arrow cardstock. I think I actually ended up feeling that it was a little bit too fiddly here. So I just go in with the cardstock as it is and I cut an eighth of an inch strip. I'm going to put that just... Uh, between those two or just above that little line. I think I got those little dots a little bit too close to those lines. I think that was the issue. Um, so just going in with this little arrow design in the middle kind of made that transition a little bit better in my view. <laughs> These are the things I think about like how do I do that? Is I going to do that? And this is when I realized the bunny is way too high. Um, I need to hide that edge. Should I cut it so I kind of line it up? No, I need to just just lower the bunny. So I, I tried a couple of things before I realized I had to pry the little bunny off. And I stuck it down with glue, which means that it's it stuck there pretty pretty hard. If you very, very carefully, you can actually pry it off. I don't recommend it. I recommend that you instead... Um, that don't glue things down before you're certain that they are going to look the way they do. That, that's my recommendation, but hey, hey. So re-glue that on, on the edge, and then uh, I'm going to use some of this foam tape. This is the 3M Scotch foam tape. I love it. I love the thickness. Uh, I just love it. Um, and then I add it on my cardstock, ended up making it slightly crooked, which... The 3M scotch tape, when you have pushed it down, it's you, you can't really move it, which was sad. But hey, sometimes you, you get to have a little bit of a crooked card. Then I'm going to just cut out that little hole on this little doctor's in sign. I'm going to add that also because I wanted something to balance this. It was very low everything. So I just added that up in the right corner to kind of just give a little bit more balance to the card. Um, add a little bit of my uh, tape runner on the back of that piece and put it on the card base and the card is done. Super quick, simple, masculine card. It was really, really fun to create and I hope to create more. So um, thank you so much for watching. If you like it, please thumbs it up. If you have any questions or comments or anything, just put them in the description down below and I will see you later. Bye.